Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And today we're going to talk about a, a, a subject that guys bring up and it's confusing to them. Yeah. But it's that girls cannot talk about sex. No, we cannot. Outside of the bedroom, it's even hard. There's certain, we're going to talk about like three different points to this, but a lot of guys get frustrated because they'll like be at dinner or they're driving in the car. Yeah. And they, this thing that's extremely interesting to them and encompasses a lot of your thought processes throughout the day. Yes. And that girl has the secrets and the experiences on her side and you're like curious, you know, but they can't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about like... I really enjoyed that, or I'd really like to try this, or what would you think of this, or have you ever thought about that? I, Guys want to know this stuff, yeah. and they want to talk about it, and girls, for the most part, we are talking the vast majority, girls, there are some outliers, we get it, yeah. but for the most part, girls are wired not to talk about it. They tr Yeah, they truly, they try not to think about it. Clam because there's lots of like all thing. kinds of issues going on. It's, it's a sex, sex drive, but they also can't, won't, don't. Yeah. And they sure as hell aren't going to discuss it. No. Not with you, not with no one. Yeah. You know. Very rarely. Very rarely. Um, So you can, you know, if she starts going, this is, you know, you say, man, you were, you were acting, you were the freak last night. And she's like. I have no idea what you're talking about. That was all you. That was all you. Know, you know, I mean, that's what you start hearing. Yeah. is like anything that happens, it's all you. Like yeah. me, the guy. So you have to recognize that that's in her head. Everything has to just happen. Mm -hmm. She can't be responsible. No. Number one reason she can't be, she uh, girls cannot talk about sex is one, because of slut shaming. Yes. Therefore, they cannot... Be responsible for anything. It makes them feel dirty. Yeah. If you if you said, hey, you know, if she wanted you to take pictures of her, yeah. she could never say it. You'd have to show up. You have to show up with the camera. Yeah. You got to put it on the tripod. She's not even going to set the tripod up. Yeah. That's where they'll end up sitting on the bed or sitting on their hands. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? While you set up the room, so you have to do the work. Yeah. You have to do all the heavy lifting if you want something to happen sexually. You have to make it happen because. They literally can't because consciously or unconsciously, they're unable to speak about it. It has to just happen. It just, that's, I mean, that's just like when we talk to you guys about trying to get a girl up to your room the first time. Um, you can't just say, hey, let's go over to my apartment and have sex. You're going to get zero response. Yeah. But if you say, hey, you know, you want to come up and see my midget. Well, now she's got a reason to go to your apartment. Yeah. And she can say, and then once you're up there, you do what you want. It just, it just happened. It's just, it's a good story, you know. So that's the number one thing. Is they have to have plausible deniability or complete deniability, you know, and they can't be responsible for anything. Number two is if you are in the bedroom and you want something that hasn't happened before, some type of sexual act you wish to happen, what, what do they need to do, Bunny? Well... The main thing is you just can't talk about it, period. You just Before push. That. I mean, I, you've always talked about this on Twitter quite a bit, quite eloquently about the fact that you go as far as you want to go until they say stop, essentially. Exactly. And this isn't first time sex stuff. This is this is once you kind of get a little bit, have fucked a few times. This right. isn't... Yeah, don't, don't don't be trying to stick don't to go, her ass on yeah, the first Don't day. go straight to her ass. Like, yeah. but but instead of saying, "Do you like do?" You, how don't, do you, yeah, don't ask. You kind of got to you got to approach the field, and then if you get some resistance, just back off. Then maybe approach it again. It's just it doesn't make sense logically. Um, if they have a strong reaction against it, then you know not to go in that in that direction. And and ninety nine point nine percent of the time especially if you're dealing with adult women, it has nothing to do with you. She had a bad experience. Somebody tried something too fast, awkwardly, in a bad position, or she was young and not ready for it. 
So that's something, it's just like rolling dice. It has nothing to do with you or your technique or how much she likes you. Because you always hear a lot of guys in our little world, they go, if she likes you enough, she'll do whatever you want. It's not always like that. Girls carry a lot of guilt and shame, head trash. Not always, but some. Yeah. Um, and it's going to get in the way of, you know, sometimes, you know, what you guys are compatible with or what she's willing to do, you know, in that in that situation. And the third reason you do bring it up within the confine, you know, in the bedroom is because um, there's been a lot of research like, you know, sex is, can be, if you really think about it, there's a lot of liquids flying around. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of body parts and there's just a lot going on. But they're... There, a girl's perception of what is gross and what she can withstand, and I, we tried to find the word, we couldn't find the right, but she's she can put up with more gross stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, she's more willing. Her gag reflex, all that is suppressed um, in that environment. When a girl's turned on physically, things that would not normally be okay yeah. are okay. Exactly. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like adrenaline when you're in the middle of a accident. You know, there's gore. There's stuff everywhere. It doesn't look, people's limbs are in the wrong direction. But you don't think about it because you're focused. Exactly. You know, and there's certain chemicals being dumped. So that's that's the other reason. It's literally, they're primed for doing these things in that environment. You know, so those are the three big things. But you just very rarely, that's why I think that a lot of these like podcasts where the girls are like talking about sex mm-hmm. are super popular because Guys rarely, so rarely get any sex talk out of a regular girl. Even then, I do find it fascinating how if you listen to that kind of stuff, you will notice that there is slut prevention, slut shaming, denial. Oh, I've heard of this. Girls do this. I've never done this, but you know, a lot of that. A lot of, what would you say? A lot of, um, where they're not taking, there's no liability. No, no they don't take response. Again, we, they, they deflect know. it. They deflect yeah. any response. Yeah, it's not, it, this is not me, but it's a friend of mine. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah. So, and it's just harder. And, and the girl, that's the hardest thing is with the girl too, is she's concerned about your perception of her. Girls don't want you to know shit about their past anyway. And the more she talks about sex, the more something might slip out. Yeah. I know that sounds kind of nefarious, but it's kind of true that, you know, that's when they go, well, I did this. And you go, you did what? You know, and then, because they've seen guys go bad. Oh, yeah. They've probably heard stories of, like, husbands and boyfriends getting crazy over something that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. Exactly. So they're not going to go down into that minefield, you know. So those are the deal. That's the deal. You're just not going to get the feedback that you want always, you know, but if you are going to bring it up, bring it up within certain, in a certain environment. Yeah. Anything else? No. All right. We want you to win. Have a good day. Bye.